Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 16, so they're filming it right now. We've got some amazing, but kind of spoilery behind the scenes photos to go over, but also we've got some more details as to this episode, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so... We've got some photos, they come from BD on Twitter, I'll leave the link to their Twitter page in the description below. And also we're going to be talking about Canada Graphs' new blog post as to this episode as well, so once again, check out the blog for Canada Graphs in the description below, and also his Twitter as well as BD's as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So, episode 16 is the episode before Melissa Benoist episode, she's directing episode 17, I got confused on that, some people online were kind of confused because Melissa was posting some stuff the last few days, and so that got a little bit confusing considering maybe this episode, because you've got this big thing happening with Alex, maybe it would have made sense if this was perhaps Melissa's episode to direct, because, you know, maybe she's not going to be in that much of her episode. We don't know, because you don't have to actually be behind the camera to direct. You can direct and be an actor in front. That's been done so many times in history, and so that's not a big problem. But that's what we sort of supposed at first until we all realized, or at least I realized and some other people realized, that this is actually episode 16, not 17, that Melissa is doing. So this episode, and this comes from Ken Grass's blog, I'm going to be reading some bits from his blog and then I'll go over to the photos. Episode 16 is titled Alex in Wonderland. So this makes a lot of sense and we're going to just go over to the photos straight away from BD on Twitter and talk about them and then we'll go back to Canada Grass. But keep that in mind, Alex in Wonderland and then you see these photos. I'm going to flick through them, there's four different photos. But you see Alex in a Supergirl suit. You see her in a suit, it's got pants. It's very much so the same design, however, obviously it's Alex in the suit and it's not Kara, and of course the colours, that's the big thing. The colours, black and blue, and it looks so freaking cool. Along with this, she's got Melissa's hairstyle, she's got the bangs, it's a very good looking wig, it looks very similar to how Melissa's hair is, obviously Melissa's hair is a little bit longer, but that's not a problem because they're trying to replicate it to a certain point that they can. And it looks amazing. Her hair is black, number one. It's like jet black. It's the same color as a suit, roughly. And I just think it looks so cool. And so now we have to talk about the title in relation to this. So Alex in Wonderland. What does that mean? Let's think of Alice in Wonderland, right? The film, the fairy tale, and whatever version you know. Alice in Wonderland is about an adventure into a world, a mystical world that is full of things that don't exist in the real world. So if you think about that in relation to the suit and what's happening with Alex and the title for the episode, I'd say the best bet as to what is going on here is this is all in Alex's imagination or it's what Alex wishes would happen. So something potentially could happen to Alex very early on in this episode to lead to these sequences of events with Alex in a superhero suit, very much so in the same style as Supergirl, but obviously a bit different because it's a completely different colour scheme, it's very much so like inverted, and yeah, it's not the inverted colours of Supergirl's suit, so it's not like a red suit with a blue cape or anything like that, you know, particularly inverted, but inverted in the sense that it's very opposite to the red and blue of Supergirl's suit and obviously complete contrast to Supergirl's hair because she has blonde hair and this is jet black hair as well. So yeah, this is a really good photo. I really like it. She's sort of in this stance where she seems to be a little bit confrontational. And then we go over to the next photo. So we've got people actually asking her questions. So maybe it's less confrontational, maybe it's more sort of smirky, sort of smug, you can see her smiling, she's crossing her arms, yeah, she's at some sort of press conference, there is this event going on because there's reporters down there, they got cameras, they got mics and everything pointing at her, so it seems like this is a parallel to what Supergirl occasionally does. Also this next photo, you see her, it seems like she's in a slightly different location, She's walked around, maybe this is in between takes, I don't know, but there's like an escalator, it looks like maybe there's some shops in the background, but this is her walking, 
and then we got this photo right here this is more confrontational you can see her in the sort of classic Supergirl stance where she potentially is about to fly off or she's about to punch someone in the face essentially and so maybe there is some sort of threat that they're going to cut back to after but let's go over to talk about Canada Graphs' blog because I'm sure there's going to be a lot more details over as to what's happening in these leaks. So what he was able to suss out and figure out what was happening during one of the scenes surrounding, you know, Kyla actually as Alex but suited up as a version of Supergirl. So this is what he was able to find. So they let a man on stage who at this time I only know the character's name of Rock Starman. The scene has Rock performing on stage when suddenly a dragon comes in, which is CGI'd after, and Supergirl comes in to save the day. After it's realized that the threat has been thwarted, Rock gives acknowledgement towards Supergirl and continues playing. Not long after that scene, they did a scene with a mob of people rushing to the stage to cheer them, and then they rapped. So I'm guessing that's kind of similar to, you know, the scene that we described in those photos where you have those people coming up with, um, you know, the microphones and everything like that because I suppose they were actually filming the event, the concert, rock starman in concert, whoever this guy is, he's some sort of performer who, you know, Supergirl saves the day, well, Alex's version of Supergirl, and yeah, so the location of this concert was at a place called Obsidian North Platinum, in a location called Virtual National City Mall. So was this concert for top tier members of Obsidian? And this gives me another idea, and this is me actually talking now, not reading off of Kenneth Grass's blog right now, but what happens if this is actually all to do with Obsidian? What happens if it's inside Obsidian that we get this new version of Supergirl, that Alex imagines herself as Supergirl and it's her perfect reality where she can be like Kara, she can fly, she can save people, she can be the hero of the world that maybe she does want to be. I feel like that's a very high possibility and that could explain a lot about, you know, the sort of Alice in Wonderland aspect to this episode. So let's go back to talk about Canada Grass's blog. So I did find out a couple of things, obviously the most important info being the episode number and the episode title which we talked about already. And so yeah, that's about it to do with the blog and so like I said, go check it out, it's in the description below, like the photos as well. However, you know, we got to talk about some of the stuff that's been going on recently. There's been lots of posts online with members of the cast hyping up Wynn's return. And so Jeremy on Twitter and Instagram posted a little bit of spoilers as to what to expect this Sunday night for his return in this Supergo episode. So he's listed some things. So he says, a sneak peek at Wynn's return Sunday night. Few things for you to ponder as you view these images. And these are the images that we talked about in the video the other day, go check that out, that's on the channel, it's easy to spot out. So, number one, he says, wedding ring. And there's been some stuff going online and it's really good fun between him and Chris Wood, who obviously played more now, and basically people were online, like, lots of us were like, you know, wow, he's got a wedding ring. He went to the future, what if he married more now? That's just good sort of thinking and I love how he sort of played into it, and so he tagged Chris on Twitter, he's like, reply to this message, please tell me Wynn and Monel are married. Then Jeremy says, basically right at Christopher Wood, and Chris responded and was like, of course, it was inevitable, chemistry equals too strong, and it's just been great fun seeing them interacting because I so want them back on the screen together, and I'm really praying that the sort of rumours that Chris is going to be in the 100th episode is true because then we'll see those two play off of each other. And about a year ago when I went to the Ultimates, which is actually on again this year in Birmingham in England, Melissa Benoist is actually there, Kyla's there, Florian Lima's is there, there are so many people, so go check out the event because I'm going to be there, they're all going to be there and it's such a great event. But I asked Jeremy Jordan a few years ago, I think two years ago, when I was at the event, you know, are we going to see more of Monel and Wynn? And he was like, yeah, we're going to see more because we love that relationship. And so that was pretty much at the end of season three, right when Monel was about to leave and Wim was about to leave. So we didn't get much more time. So I'm just praying for some more time. And so, yeah, wedding ring. What is happening here? I don't know. He's married or something like that, but I don't know exactly who to realistically, although it would be great if it was Monel. 
However, the next thing Jeremy actually listed was Legion ring because in one of the photos, I believe he has actually got a Legion ring on. So is he official member of the Legion superheroes? You would have to assume that because yeah, we don't know how long he's been away in the future for, but he went to help the Legion. So surely he's going to join the Legion at some point. Then he also said Super Friends of Life, and he said, is that hand blue at one of the photos because his hand does look blue. And yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.